What we're going to do is recap on some of our level two lateral movements and then move forward to some new lateral movements here in the long reins. Walk on. Okay, what I always like to do to begin with once again is just walk off my horse nice and relaxed down the fence here. And I'm just going to allow him just to kind of travel up and down, letting him know that being coming to this fence is a good spot for him to come to. You'll see me just circle here in this first uh, little teardrop back to the uh, fence. Walk on. Walk on. And just, re just really establish this walk. I'd like for this walk to be a little bigger, so I'm going to slow my feet down. Just going to bump him here with this stick, just asking him to increase that walk. A little too much there, just asking him to walk on good. Now he's got a little bit more forward, he's going somewhere. That's a walk that I'd like to uh, have in doing my uh, next amount of lateral movements. So I'm going to ask and incorporate this little teardrop here at the end. I'm going to take his nose back to the uh, rail and I'm going to ask for his hip to stay here to the inside as I move down the rail. You can see that I'm standing here at the three quarter on position, just asking and driving that hip, this inside hip to step up underneath him, thinking about using my outside rein to help keep him straight. And you can see he got a little, uh, moved a little less, so I'm going to actually step back here a little bit more behind him, here, behind him, driving him here to the fence, then allowing him to walk on again. Okay, teardrop here, pick up on my now right rein, ask him to come around the corner, walk on, same thing, I'm going to ask that nose to come back to the, to the fence here and ask of him to move down the fence away from me. So I'm bringing my whip up here to his right hip, asking that hip to now come to the inside and for him to move this inside hip up and underneath himself and stay up at, here at the rail.